Thank you for tuning in to the best parenting show on the internet. Post Daily Dose. Hey, good evening, Facebook family. Welcome to another episode of Post Daily Dose with me, your trusted parenting advisor, faithful guide, and servant on the healing journey. What's my name? Big Papa Brian Post. I hope everyone's doing fantastic this evening. So I am actually feeling like crap, but I wanted to uh, come on here and uh, chop it up with you for just a minute. I'm obsessing about my uh, straightness of the screen there. Um... So the pollen count is like at an all-time high in Oklahoma right now. And I didn't think that it affected me. Um, but last night, I realized that it did. And maybe it is because I was in Colorado last week and was out of the out of the count or whatever. <clears throat> but anyway, last night I started feeling not very good. Still not feeling very good. <clears throat> but... In my not feeling good today and not doing anything at all or as little as possible, I actually watched a show, and that's what I want to share with you. There's a show on HBO, and it actually came out in 2008, so you can probably go on YouTube and you can find it, and it's called The Momentum Experience, and it is a show about surfers, so it's called The Momentum Experience, and here's the thing at the very beginning, it introduces you to I think it's it's like six to six to eight different guys and they're basically telling each one of them is, is mentioning just a little bit something about their childhood every single one of them came from a background of trauma I just thought that was the most interesting thing I'm sitting here watching this movie and they're chronicling these guys and all these guys came from a background of trauma every single one of them and somehow or another, they got involved in surfing, and they were really good at it because they said that um, being on the waves, where it's actually chaotic to everyone else, is very calming to them. And this one particular guy, his his um, mom was married to a uh, professional football player who was abusive, and she eventually... She divorced him, and she she left the family for a while, went to Hawaii, fell in love with it, bought a house, came back, told the kids, pack up, we're moving to Hawaii. Mm -hmm. And so it just happened to be on what's known as the North Shore in Hawaii, which is where all the big waves come. And all of these, so all these big waves and stuff start, you know, Hawaii is like the mecca of, of surfing. And so all of these guys eventually ended up in Hawaii because all they wanted to do was surf. And mm -hmm. they were teenagers. Like these were these were just teenage wayward kids who figured out, you know, some of them had gotten sponsorships. They figured out how to get themselves to Hawaii. And they all met and they all congregated at this one house. This mom of the one kid said, mm -hmm. I never had any family growing up. And she said I just, at first, it was a little wild because, you know, at one point she had 15 kids sleeping around the house and being messy. And she said, I just gave into it. And it was just a beautiful thing. And I just loved it. And so all those kids, you know, that's all they did is they just surfed. And so seven, six, seven, eight of them, the ones they showed there at the very beginning, you can watch every one of them is telling a little bit about their childhood, all came from a background of trauma. They started surfing together, and they started surfing big waves, and then one of them said, I'm going to video it, and they couldn't, the first one he did, <clears throat> the first video he did, they couldn't even rewind it, because if you rewound it, you'd ruin the tape, and so then he said, well, I'm going to do another one, and he had a parent who was supportive, kind of, sort of, but fronted the first thousand dollars or whatever for the first, um, first VHS tapes that he was going to cut and produce and he put this heavy metal music to it which no one had ever done before and all of a sudden these guys became world renowned their surfing skills became world renowned 
it took it took the sport of surfing to the commercial level that it's at now. Isn't that just fa- fantastic? Mm-hmm. That you could take two like <clears throat> take a group of of kids, the kids you and I talk about every single day, the kids that so many of us in in society want to just write off and act like they have nothing to offer. And I really do believe that our trauma that we've gone through in life, it is the making of our individual superpowers. It's just a matter of, hey, mama, hope you're doing well out there in Alabama. It's, it's just that it's the making of our superpowers, and it's just a matter of us finding those superpowers. So his video of their surfing and their taking risk, because that's what they did. They took risk. Like, they surfed waves that no one else surfed. And they did stuff that no one else did. And it was, you know, and they said many times throughout the movie, the momentum experience, that it's getting to that point where your heart is feeling like it's going to beat out of your chest that that you're always striving for. And one guy learned that if you'll just laugh when your heart starts pounding really fast, it tricks your brain into thinking it's not as risky. And then it probably puts you right into flow. And that's that's really, I've been talking to you guys off and on over the last couple months, whether it was on the morning motivation, which I missed this morning, and I'm going to miss morning motivation again tomorrow. I I can already tell you I'm not going to be up. I already canceled my workout with my buddy. Hey, Ellen. Hey, Brenda. And uh, so if you tune in for morning motivation, I won't be there in the morning. But I should be back. I should be back to speak Thursday. I usually re- recover pretty quick. Um, but I've re- been reading this book called The Rise of Superman. And one of the things the guy chronicles is extreme athletes. And they talk about entering that flow state. And that's what all these guys are always striving for is to get into that flow state. So these, these you know, six, seven, eight, nine, ten wayward teenagers eventually is what brought surfing mainstream and one of them Kelly Slater that might be a name that a lot of you know he's he's pretty popular he was actually in Baywatch but um I just thought it was really cool that that these teenage boys who all came from backgrounds of trauma you know it was their it was their fortitude it was their passion it was their strength and persistence that brought surfing to the forefront of of our you know worldwide consciousness and i just wanted to hop on and share that with you guys and so i'm big into taking care of myself so i'm not gonna try to push this any further before i start hacking up here and i don't want to do that so god bless you big papa loves you i should be back here tomorrow i don't foresee that i won't be i just won't be on morning motivation but i hope i'll be feeling better tomorrow too all right God bless everyone. Remember, in any given situation, we always have two choices. We can continue to react from the same past imprints and blueprints of stress and fear and overwhelm, or we could stop. We could take three to ten deep breaths, and we can choose love.